What should we do? Is the frog here? Can you talk about the frog? No, it's just Darcy. It's just Darcy again. No, because why would she be out here? Last place. Darcy! We're back again to play some games. We are back with Saint Spells and it, it's been a minute. <laughs> my goal, my goal was to have like a Saint Spells video every month, one or two a month, you know, so we can get through all 29 characters. But I, I got a little distracted. Mm hmm a little distracted, my bad. But we're back now. <laughs> so as always, I will have a Saint Spells list playlist right above me. Um, you can watch any episode because every gameplay is a new game essentially, but it will make more sense if you start from the beginning. So before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's always description below and we can get started. Who was the last person? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Spinel. Spinel was the last one. So let's roll and see which number I get. 19. Who is 19? Is this person that we have not met? Uh, shout out to this person on Twitter. Saint Spell Conservatory of Magic. I'm gonna read this every time to set the mood. A well-renowned school known for its vibrant stone body and illustrious alumni. Um, it hasn't been that long since you discovered you're a spellcaster. Someone capable of wielding magic. I would love to be part of this school, honestly. Uh, especially when Spinel's there. <laughs> One day you were a mundane human, the next a practicing witch. In this day and age, it was definitely something that came as quite a surprise. After some, after some trials, you were finally transferred into the magical university. Both nervous and excited, you hope to make, make some friends by the end of the week. Though you don't know anyone as a transfer student, you're ready to make the most of it. Fill out your student ID, yes, sir, or ma'am. Lauren, as always. Or should I change it up now, Lauren? B. Okay, we have combat and defense, potions, healing, and arithmancy, whatever that is. No, astrology, astrology, yeah. And we're gonna go Regulus. Let's go. I should get ready for tomorrow. Today is Monday. You have some free time until your next class. What do you do? Um. We gotta eat a shroom, yeah. And see if we get anything from it. You're in the forest. Eat questionable shroom. Don't kill me. In your defense, actually you don't really have one. After dusting with the dirt, you take a healthy bite out of the, question, the questionable shroom. You feel like a bad student. Huh? What were you doing here again? Ah, I got stupid. <laughs> I got stupid. Go to class? Yes. And are you here, mysterious person? You sure are. You are waiting to get let in the classroom when a crumpled ball of paper is thrown at your feet. Tracing the arc of the trajectory back to its source, you make eye contact with a bucket hat wearing seraphim. Okay. She points at the paper ball and mimes opening it, a smirk on her face. Kick the ball, paper ball away, pick it up and open it. Yeah, open it. Scrawled across the piece of paper is, wanna dip? Oh, you, you rebellious. You look up, you look up at, mm. She gives a snicker and wink, nodding her head to where the exit is, leading away from the classroom. We shouldn't skip class today. There's a quiz. Goody two shoes. That's why I'm skipping, dummy. Whatever. I invited you because I thought you'd be fun. Never mind. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm chill like that. 
please don't skip. I'll tell the professor. So definitely not that one. We don't snitch. I'll give you my notes if you're gonna skip. At least use the time to study. I'll let you know how the quiz goes if you'd like. I'll give you the notes. Yeah. That's, yeah. Mm. Tilts her head and stares at you for a second before shrugging. Thanks for the offer, but I'm good. She throws up a peace sign and disappears out of the classroom. Deuces. Alright students, gather around. Today we'll be doing live demonstration. Please don't hit me. The class falls silent. B! Hey, I'm still new! You got biffed in the freaking face. Some people in the class gasp in horror as you fall onto your back, face aching. Is... is that blood? You vaguely wonder as, yes, blood trickles from your temple. Golly, I'm suing. Uh, you're released from the throbbing pain in your head as you fade to blissful unconsciousness. Maybe, maybe we should have skipped. Maybe we should have skipped. You wake up in the infirmary. Ugh. Nursing your wounds, you crawl out of bed and continue on with your day. Golly. It's noon. Who do you want to spend lunch time with? Of course. We still don't have her name. Ah, you miss me so much you found me for lunch? How sweet of you. What are you eating anyways? Avoid a question, answer. Oh, what is it? She leans closer to take a look. Ah, oh, nice, nice. I got a PB&J sandwich. I love a good PB&J sandwich. Anyway, can I have a bite? It looks good. You know what? I have never actually had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Because I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> can you have a bite? The heck? It's mine. Anyways, I found out- You talk a lot. <laughs> Anyways, I found out about this new game, Benshin Bimpact. Literally. Genshin Impact. <laughs> Anyways, I found out about this new game, Benshin Bimpact. And you should totally play it with me. Okay, teach me how to play it. I play Benshin too. Here, add me as a friend. It's okay. I don't really like playing video games. Add me as a friend. I play Benshin too. Here, add me as a friend. Mmm, Brightons, can I get your name? Really? Sweet! We can play right now. Oh, but I don't play on mobile though. I, I play on my PS4. You spend the rest of the lunch break playing with her. Can I get your name? Are you an angel? You look like an angel. Seraphim. Seraphim. Let's go to the garden. You'll find something waiting. You are at the gardens. You wander around the garden a bit, appreciating the beauty of the flowers. You can feel your charisma increasing. While sitting at chill... Oh, this guy. Uh... Yeah. Quay. I want to do his, his route one of these days. Hopefully I roll him. You're done classes. What do I do? Let's go back to the dorm I never go back to the dorm let's just rest so they got hit in the face let's go back to the garden so you can find some pretty interesting characters out here wander join a tea club let's just wander around you wander around the garden a bit appreciating the beauty of the flowers you can feel your you can feel your charisma increasing. Hey, as soon oh Ivy, Ivy, as soon as Ivy recognizes you, she waves you over, barely containing her excitement. Ah, you're here, perfect. Do you remember the frog I told you about, Teddy? I'm sure you do, but look, there he is. What's good, Teddy? She points to a frog hiding in the shade. That's a frog, all right. Oh, frog. Um, man, what, what should I say? <laughs> How does one react to a frog? A 
frog 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 I tried to bring Teddy to my room the other day remember that anyways I felt really bad after a few hours he looked so lonely and sad so I had to sneak out after curfew just to get him back here again she huffs you give me so much trouble Teddy uh, you're the one who got yourself into trouble. Didn't I tell you to leave the frog alone? Good that you put him back. Now you can see him when he's happy. If you really, if you really want a frog, you could go to the pet store. You know. Um, it's the frog is happy. Yeah, he's happy. Ivy nods. You're right. And I have more things to do when I skip class. I like you, Ivy. You put a smile on my face. Um, what should I do? Take a bath. It's bath time. You were in the bathhouse. You get squeaky clean. You can feel your charisma increasing. Monday is now over. Today is Tuesday. You have healing. Go to class. Yes, because I cannot skip. Uh, who would you like to approach? Oh, I should. I, ooh, so who we got? Since since Ivy's not here, I can talk to anybody. Anybody here that I have not met? Um, who are you again? Aravi. Ooh. One of you. Who was the one, one of these brown haired girls was giving me like information about other students? Maybe you? Yes, you, you, Claire. Hello, you must be new around here. My name is Claire, it's nice to meet you. I'm sure it can be a little overwhelming being new around here, but feel free to ask me about things you don't understand. Or even about people. We're all generally friendly here, so there's no need to worry. Tell me about the house, Eleni, Luca, tell me about yourself. Oh, I thought she would give me information about the characters I've already talked to. Um, but it's just these characters. So I know we talked about Luca last time. Because we learned how he's adopted. Uh, tell me about Aravi. We already did that. So, Eleni. I don't like her. <laughs> uh, Eleni is quite the character. She doesn't, mince, she doesn't mince words and she can come off a little mean. But in my opinion, that's also because she's passionate about the things she's interested in. She's a fan of interesting magic and extremely curious to boot. And arrogant. If you meet her, there's a chance you'll meet her partner, Siri. Mmm, so they're connected. Uh, Siri too. Did you want to know anything else? Well, I guess if you're not going to give me information about Ivy, I'm good. I'm okay, thanks. Ah, uh, you have no more questions? If that's all, I'd best be on my way. Are you not in this class? But before I forget, let me congratulate you on your admission to Saint Spell. May the stars light your way, and I hope you will have a wonderful time here. Thank you, Claire. And then she's gone. Recently, you've learned all the Seraphim students naturally have an affinity for healing magic. Okay. What should we do? What should we do? Um... Let's go. To the classroom. Yeah. And uh, I don't need to be smart. We can just rest. Isn't the feeling of falling asleep on a desk the best? Uh, drool nearly escapes your mouth as you proceed to pass out in the classroom. It's noon. Who do you want to spend time with? Or uh, lunchtime with. Of course, Ivy. I know, I, I know Ivy. I know her name now. 
Um, but I guess it doesn't count unless they tell you, actually introduce themselves, I guess. Uh, mm, spots you. With a bright grin, she calls out. Hey, I didn't ask for your name last time. Ignore her, give her a silly name. Give her your name. Um, I'll just give her my name. Cool, I'm Ivy. Ivy Tan. Tan. Ivy Tan. Tan. Ivy Tan. Ivy Tan. Ivy Tan. Uh, hey. I passed the quiz. Congratulations. Actually, I got an 80. That's pretty good for me. That's like a good B. A high B. Uh, you totally missed out last time, though. I found a frog. His name's Teddy. I'll introduce you sometime. I already did. We got, we got mixed up. We got <laughs> things mis mixed up. I'll introduce you sometime. If you got an 80, maybe you shouldn't be running around catching frogs. Sorry, I'll pass. That sounds lovely. Well, I don't want to make you upset, so. And I do want to skip. <laughs> uh, that sounds lovely. Let's go. Let's just go with it. Great. Ivy flashes a bright grin. We should skip next class. Or, I guess if we really don't want to skip, we can just do it sometime else. Teddy lives at the edge of the garden, I think. Or, at least that's where I found him. Well, see you around. Ivy lifts a hand in a wave and parts waves with a little enthusiastic flutter of her wings. Hmm. Well, if we want to skip, we have to at least get to four, I think. You have astrology. Go to class. Yes. Who would you like to approach? Um, Miss Bunnell. Let's talk to this guy. You try to find, mm, but the professor already started. I don't think I got his name last time. Did I? No, I didn't. But he plays, he plays, um, was it football or something? <laughs> Outside in the um, field? I don't know. Uh, but the professor's already starting their lesson. And I'm snoring. Lauren B. Getting back onto topic. Hey B, how do you calculate the gravitation? I've done this one. And I got wrong last time. I'm gonna say this. Thank you, Lauren. It appears you've studied. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, I got a lot of charisma going on. Okay, let's let's do bad things now. I think they're in this class, so I have to. Oh, but they're skipping. So is there any point? Are you in here now? Oh, you are. Um, Ivy runs up to you. Uh, sidling. Sidling. Sidling up to whisper in your ear. Uh, do you know if we're allowed frogs? Oh, you really like frogs. <laughs> do you know if we're allowed frogs in our dorms? Like as pets? Or like maybe just a night? One night is fine. I don't think so. Ivy droops a little. Not even for one night? Like, would I really get in trouble for that? If the RA doesn't catch you, then you can probably get away with it. You probably shouldn't bring a frog to your dorm. Do you even have the stuff to take care of it properly? Yeah, you're gonna end up killing it. Yeah, can you take care of it properly, Ivy? Ivy pouts. What does that matter? We don't want it to die. I was gonna find a bunch of worms or whatever to feed it. It's not like I'm gonna kill her or anything. Yes, you are. I can help you find proper frog care equipment. If you don't have what it takes to take care of it, then don't. Leave the frog alone. I'll help you find the stuff. We can go hit up PetSmart. PetSmart? PetSmart. Um, though I doubt they have frog stuff. I can help you find proper frog care equipment. Ivy brightens, almost jumping in excitement. Oh, are you for real? That'd be so cool. 
We can be like Teddy's parents. My parents never let me get a pet. They said that I couldn't handle the responsibility. Okay, maybe they're right about that. But still, don't you think? Like, having a lizard pet would be so cool. Lizards are pretty cool. Well, even lizards need good care too. Lizards are probably high maintenance. I guess I don't really care about pets. Don't say that. I think you can handle a lizard if you really want it to. I'm gonna say... Lizards are cool. <laughs> I don't know. Lizards are pretty cool. Exactly. You have good taste. Anyways. She drifts off, scrunching up her nose as she thinks. Hmm. To frog or not to frog? Oh well. I'm hungry. I'm gonna find something to eat first. Hey, bring, bring me something back. See ya. The grin she shoots at you as she leaves can't help but make you think she's up to something. Should we follow? Anyway, in today's class, you're handling a love potion. The ruby pink liquid shimmers ominously, and you're careful not to spill any as you hold the beaker up to your eye level to read the, to read the meniscus. I nailed that. Did I do it? What were you thinking? You quickly wave a strange thought away. You want to give it to Ivy, didn't you? It's now after school hours. Extracurricular are now in session. What do you do? Go to the garden. Oh, should we take a bath? Go to the garden. To see if Ivy's there. Yeah, wander around for a little bit. Nah, she's not there. Can I take a bath? Yeah, let me take a bath real fast. And my charisma is going up. Oh, I need to be bad. I need to be... <laughs> I need to do some bad stuff. I forgot. Okay, Wednesday. Tomorrow. I mean, today. Tomorrow. Give me a second. Okay, Wednesday today, we gotta do some bad stuff. To get our badness up. I mean, let's go to the library and mess it up. Sorry, Barnaby, I know this is your space. Oh, did Darcy catch me? <laughs> Bonjour, I don't think I've seen you around before. You're fine, you're safe. Okay, okay, he didn't catch me. But this is Darcy. Um, let's go to the classroom. Write profanities on the board. Yeah. Do that. You pick up the chalk. Evil thoughts stewing in your devious little head. Your feet smell. Okay. I was thinking of something more worse. Uh, you pull back from your work, satisfied. You feel like a bad student. But I think we need four to skip. It's noon. Who you want to spend lunch time with? Of course. Hey, Lauren. How are you? Ivy calls out, running over and throwing herself over your shoulders. Return the hug, shrug her off. Don't do that. Return the hug. I'm craving milkshakes again. Ivy whines, her wings drooping dramatically behind her. Uh, wanna go... Dark Chapel? Wanna go Dark Chapel sometimes then? I can make you one. Can I make a... Do I know how I make one? Uh... <laughs> what should we do? I can make one sounds more... I care about you. I wanna do stuff for you. But Dark Chapel sounds fun, wherever that place is. I can make one for you. Ivy blinks in surprise. You can make one? When she turns to you, her eyes, her eyes sparkle with awe. Teach me how. I can stop spending money on them if I make them myself. Okay, I made the right decision. Wow, the possibilities. The flavors I can try. She grabs your hand and gives you a serious nod. 
Thank you for opening my eyes. I got you. You have astrology. Go to class. Can I say no now or do I need four? Okay, no, I can't. Who would you like to approach? Um, don't want to talk to Spinel. Siri, uh. Okay, let's just do this one. No, I can, I can just go back, go back, go back. It's, it's nice to see you, though. It's nice to see you, Bunny. Um, by myself. I don't want to talk to nobody. You shiver upon seeing the ginormous textbook in front of you. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about this. What is that? Dark orb. Oh, the, prof the, prof the professor wants you to drop and give, huh? This is astrology. Why am I giving planks? <laughs> the professor wants you to drop and give them five entire planks. Due next Monday at that, huh? Wait. Huh? <laughs> okay. All right, now that we've gone over the assignment, what is the chance of rainfall? Zero percent, because it doesn't rain in this game. Your professor breathes a sigh of relief. Thank goodness, today is the only day I've forgotten to bring my umbrella in the last 15 years. Oh, so you, that wasn't a question, you were just asking, uh, whatever. Well, hopefully it doesn't actually rain. You can't tell the future. Anyway, how, how are we doing now? You think I'm winning Ivy over? I think I am. I'm, I'm feeling pretty positive. But if she puts me in the friend zone? Um, we, have, we, even have, we even have a frog together. Is that not romantic? We have a frog. You have potions. Go to class. Yes. Who would you like to approach? Are you here? Please be here. Please be here. Please be here. Don't skip. Don't skip. Dang. Today you're making an elixir. Deadly enough to kill 10 men with a single drop. Golly. We are only making this as a demonstration of these ingredients. Inter... Well, if... If... No, let's talk to her. She's very mysterious. And I don't, I don't think we've talked to her. Never mind. We've already seen the scene. I thought we would have a different scene with her. Let's talk to, uh, you. You spot two students who seem to be in the middle of some kind of argument. One is the aunt. Oh, this is Huxley. I thought it was somebody else. Um... Okay, let's just see what um, what Darcy's doing. Greetings, Lauren. It seems we keep running into each other these days. Yeah, it does. Are you following me? Yeah, it does. It's nice to see you, Darcy. Perhaps fate has something in store for us. Not this. Not this time, though. Not this route. Not this week. Uh, he laughs at his own statement before looking complete. Complete. Content. <laughs> Contemplative. Do you believe in fate, Lauren? Um. Yeah. I've always found the idea so interesting that we may have to. Does you sound you sound like a uh, spinel right now? I've always found the idea so interesting that we may have destined encounters with certain people in our lives. A delicate red string connecting two people, tugging at each end to guide them back to each other again and again for some greater unknown purpose. Yes, I do. He seems pleased to hear that, stepping closer and leaning in as if about to share a secret with me. With careful gentleness, he takes a hold of your hand, turning it over so that your palms face upwards. He traces his fingers down the length of your pinky. I have a feeling that there's a string tied between us both. 
from your finger to mine. It's in our stars to keep meeting like this. I look forward to seeing what the universe has planned. He releases your hand just as quickly as he takes it, stepping away and breaking the silent hush that has fallen between you. If you're free sometime, we should stop by the garden in the afternoon. I'm usually having tea there. I'd love for you to join me. It takes you a moment to recover, but when you do, you manage to get out an answer. Uh, I'll come by sometime. He smiles at you innocently, all the intensity from before gone as if it had been a dream. I hope to see you there soon. Golly, Darcy. This, this ain't your route. This is not your route. Calm down. Ooh. Um, you're romantic like, uh, uh, Spinel. Today you're making it look so deadly enough to kill ten. I don't care about this right now. <laughs> My mind is full, full of Darcy now. My mind is full of Darcy. Uh, you are making this as a demonstration of these ingredients intermingling. Dr drink the... <laughs> no. Drink the death elixir. No, you dumb... Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't either. And my whole playthrough. In fact, let me save real fast. Got me scared. Um, it's now after school hours. Extracurricular are now in session. What do you do? Let's go to the field. We haven't got to the field today. You're at the fields. Practice magic. The wide open space helps you focus on your magic. You can feel your intelligence increasing. Darcy! <laughs> not you, not you! Hey, what are you up to? Ah, uh, hello Lauren. I've been trying to practice my general magic. I'm fairly decent with my perspective. I'm fairly decent with my specialty, but I'm a bit lacking on other things. Uh, do you need any help? No, 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 not his route. No, let's save this for his route. <laughs> Good luck. Bye bye. Thank you. I have to focus, so I'll see you around. You nod and let Darcy continue practicing, going about your day. Okay, gotta find Ivy, gotta find Ivy. Free time before the day ends, where should I go? Let's go to the garden. Let's see if she's here at night. Please be here. Ugh, it's just Huxley again. <laughs> Get off of me, you lunatic. Let's say that. Huxley removes her hand from yours, but continues her puppy-eyed staring. Uh, you're not only pretty, you're funny too. But seriously, what's your name? Ugh. Try to scare you off. I need to go. You reluctantly decide to tell her. Lauren. What a beautiful name. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll, we'll see you later, Huxley. Wednesday is now over. Okay. I feel like... I need to spend today... I need to spend today with, um... So if you're, who are you? You suddenly feel quite ill and you're unsure why. Whatever it is causes you to see black spots and you feel extremely lightheaded. Before you know it, the world goes dark. Did, did you eat enough? Why'd you pass out? You feel a funny taste in your mouth. Yeah. You're grog groggy <laughs> as all hell. A funny taste lingering in your mouth. Medicine. The next thing you remember, you wake up on a lap of... Have I met you? Ah! You feel your face heat up. 
suddenly not even processing that you quite literally blacked out. It seems as if your heart starts beating like crazy for the most beautiful girl you've ever seen. Who on earth was this angel? Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. You abruptly clamor up, trying to calm yourself and not look as if your face was used as a target for a tomato throwing contest. Wh what happened? Oh, I saw you collapse and brought you to the infirmary. Are you okay? More than okay. You feel like a goddess has blessed your soul. Was this love at first sight, girl? Ivy, focus, Ivy, we're on, <laughs> focus on Ivy. Yeah, I think today was really a bad day. Sorry about that. <laughs> what a charming laugh. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. If you need any more healing, just come to me, okay? Ah, it feels as if you've sur surpassed Nirvana. Yeah. Oh, and your name is? Oh, pardon my rudeness. My name is Gwenera. 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 What about you? Lauren. Um, effects the blah 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 blah. Uh, pick something randomly. This one. Did I get it right? Are you in the right class? Nope. You thought this school was for magic, not the M cat. <laughs> this is an introduction of healing, right? Not a graduate level course. Okay, I need to I need to do something bad. I think I only I think I only have yeah, yeah, I'm done with classes for today. Let me do something bad real fast. Um Mix up the books real fast. Oh, Darcy. Uh, hello there. Are you here looking for something? This is my work study, so I can help you find something if you're lost. Um, I was wondering where the romance section was. I'm here to study. Do you work here a lot? Yeah, like, where's the romance section at? His eyes seem to sparkle at that. Darcy nods and leads the way over. Here we are. What author do you usually like? I'm a big fan of classics. Especially Jane Austen. Is it because of that one book? The guy with your name? Darcy looks sheepish at your question. Well, yes. My initial interest in her work was piqued by Mr. Darcy, since he's been mentioned so often to me. But I really do enjoy her writing. I like more modern literature. Sorry, I'm taking a break. I can't read. <laughs> I'm stumbling over my words. Um, y'all, y'all check out my amnesia playthrough. I need to watch that. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. The Pirate Queen's hidden treasure has been topping the charts recently. I, I'm a really studious MC. I haven't ventured into that era much. Bobby should check it out. No, you won't. Thank you. He seems to be happy about the conversation. Darcy returns to the work. I'm sorry for messing up your books. <laughs> he returns to work, but he tells you he's at the front desk should you need any more assistance. Okay, back to work. Ivy, 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 Ivy. It's noon. That's hot. Who's, uh, yeah, uh, there you are. You see Ivy with a couple of bucket hats laid out around her and what seems to be bottles of dye. What are you about to do? She looks up from her work and notices you. Hello, hello. Look, I'm going to tie down my bucket hats. Oh, don't do that. It'll look bad. I'm not going to put her down. I support her creativity. Oh, really? That's so cool. Right? Do you want one when I'm done? She offers, shaking her head at you. Can I help? Ivy brightens. You'll help? Then yes, of course. She moves over and pats the ground beside her for you to sit, points out all the colors she's selected, and explains the process. And when you're done, you can take one. How about that? You can't say no. Uh, 
Okay, I need... It's Thursday. I need, I need a really good moment with her. Where is she at? Where is she? Where would she be at? Should we check the garden? Oh, Darcy might be here. If it's Darcy, I'm back. I'm gonna backtrack. Oh, it's you. What's going on? What is this? You follow a strange woman, find mm, brewing a potion over a flame. With the broom of his hat hanging over his eyes, he appears extra witch like. I can't find Ivy. Dang it, I should have I should have been more bad in the beginning. Uh, he grins and waves you over. Perfect timing. I need an extra pair of hands with the potion I'm working on. It's supposed to be it's supposed to make you temporarily invisible. Kinda neat, huh? Uh make sneaking around past curfew way easier. Anyway, I'm gonna read the recipe and add the ingredients while you stir. Ready? I guess. One cup of moon water, a pinch of serpentine dust, mugwort. Ew. A sedar, sedar, sender, sendar. I don't know how to say. It. I know that word, but I don't know how to say it. A lunar moth wing, a uh, protein powder. Is that, is that really part of the recipe? Well, I don't want to stray, but it's your choice. Let's do it. Include it. Whoa! Hey, hey! It's bubbling. Looks like it's working. The liquid in the pot. Aren't you the gardener? What are you doing in here? Liquid in the pot begins to bubble over onto the burner. Uh oh. Boom. There's an unmistakable sound of an explosion, and you flinch, almost curling into a ball to protect yourself. When you open your eyes, you find Mm, shielding you from the blast. He beams at you as if nothing had happened and grabs a nearby rat to clean the mess. Whoopsie. You okay? Guess some punk wrote it in thinking there's some funny guy. Want to drink anyway? I eat all kind of nasty things. It'll be fine. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. You'll do a you will you at my funeral, right? Better make it funny. He pours a glass and takes a sip. Nothing happens, and you look at each other in disappointment. Golly. Then, when he sets the glass down, it shatters. Hello. No way, stronger? He flexes his arm a few times, then gives you a high five. It stings. Ouch. I guess I don't know my own strength. Wait, come on, let's go. This could be fun. <sighs> Ivy, I need to find Ivy. Where could Ivy be? Okay, let's wander around the forest. I'm in the garden. Oh, no, Darcy, not you, not you, not you. Um, practice magic. You are walking peacefully across the campus when, out of nowhere, you are doused by a cup of orange juice. You can hear a voice yelling to you as you try to stop the juice from dripping into your eyes. Oh, Ivy. Oh god, I'm so sorry. You manage to keep your eyes safe from the threats of juice, from the threat of juice. Only you see Ivy looking a little concerned, a little sheepish, but most of all, trying really hard to keep a smirk off her face. Are you okay? Uh, let me save. Uh, I don't want to be mad, uh, but I do want to know what you did that for. I'm okay. Ivy gives you a sheepish, smi a sheepish smile. That's good. I'm so sorry. I was practicing my magic, like teleporting stuff, and I got distracted, so I guess I messed up. Sorry. 
Ask Ivy to re ask Ivy to replace your shirt. Offer to help Ivy practice so it doesn't happen again. Tell Ivy she sucks at magic and find a better place to practice. Heck no. I will help you practice. Would you like some help practicing? So it doesn't happen again. Ivy sputters. Oh, um, I mean, I'm not that bad usually, I swear. I just got distracted. Usually I'm really good at teleporting stuff. She gives you a demonstration. Teleporting the now empty orange juice cups from one hand to another. Except she misses the cup as it pops up over her other hand and clatters to the ground. She slowly meets your gaze with a sheepish one. Uh, that was a hand-eye coordination problem, not a magic one. It's okay, I'm sure your magic is cool. But more practice can't be a bad thing, right? Right, anyways, please please get better at your magic, jeez. Now let's, let's do this one. It's okay, I'm sure your magic is cool. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind practicing my magic too. Ivy tilts her head, your response catching her off guard. Then she grins as she processes your suggestion. Yeah, we can be like study buddies. That'll be super fun. Mm, the day's almost over. And she's, ugh. Okay, um. I have to go ahead and look up her extracurricular. Since it's Thursday, and she's in Fight Club. Are you serious? Because that stupid teacher hit me on Tuesday or Monday, whatever. Oh my goodness. Man, I can't even... Ugh, I forgot. I forget you have to actually heal yourself. But now, ugh, I don't have time for this phoenix. Okay, um... <laughs> There's nobody out here. I failed. Okay, um... Maybe not. You notice a few passerbys glancing at someone sitting at a table. Frankly speaking, you aren't surprised to find that person reading here when he could be reading somewhere more proper. No, we're not gonna do this UA. So I'm stressed. <laughs> go back, go back, go back, go back. Practice magic. Okay. Oh! What was that? What was that? Okay, okay, whatever. That. <laughs> hey, did you miss me? Today, uh, I failed. I failed. I failed. Uh, are you ready to clear this next level? Wait, finish your food first. I failed. They're supposed to ask to meet with me. 
I think I think I feel like I messed up because I didn't skip class in the beginning. What should we do? Is the frog here? Can we talk about the frog? No, it's just Darcy. It's just Darcy again. No, because why would she be out here? Last place. Darcy! I missed. I'm hurt because I, I got hurt again. So let's go heal, I guess. But what's her face might be here. Oh, Aravi. How you doing? I'm in a bad mood right now. I'm sorry. Aravi, I'm sorry for that. I ignored you. Sorry. Okay, I can't. I can't. Sorry. Uh, Ivy. No, not you. I failed. I have no one to meet tomorrow. And I have... Ooh! No, you're gonna friend zone me. We didn't get into anything deep. The two of you sit at a table by the window of the diner, enjoying the last few sips of your milkshakes as the stars slowly twinkle into place outside. Ivy suddenly starts speaking. I really miss my friends. Like, um, the ones I left behind after, you know, the war? She gestures to her wings. I don't know, I just... It's weird that I left them behind, you know? I wasn't sure if I could ever hang with people as cool as them. Like, you know. I guess... Have that type of bond again. Especially since most of the other seraphims are so boring. She meets your gaze, looking serious for once. The lack of smile on her face strikes you as unusual. Anyway, I'm glad I don't have to worry about that anymore. You're hella cool. Thanks for always having my back, bro. Her open expression is broken up by a snicker. Sorry, was that too cheesy? She looks away and takes a long sip of her milkshake. You barely catch what she says over the background chatter of the diner. I'll try not to leave you early this time. Ivy success. I got you, bro. Would you cons- you- that's- that's a success? That's a success? Is that a success? I was hoping for something more romantic, or maybe she's not romanceable? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I- I did it! <laughs> Golly, stressed. Got me stressed and sweating, Ivy. Cause you was not- it seems like, okay, so it seems like, ah, uh, uh, for the other characters, it seemed like we were getting into deeper conversations throughout the whole way, throughout the whole week, but it seems like she didn't, we were, we were just having fun the whole time, and at the very end, she started talking about her, how, her missing friends, so either I missed out on those conversations, or we just don't go in depth. I'm thinking that I missed down those conversations. Probably because I didn't skip enough classes, maybe. I don't know. Is it supposed to be romantic? Is there a romantic one? Or is she more of a friend character? Um, <laughs> got me stressed out. Anyway, su su a success is a success. I'm on a roll. Then you tear up that milkshake. 43. She... I can't read that. She was adopted into a mundane family that treated her well. She began experiencing something magic at 12. And the circle came to blank. Parents know what was going on. Nah. They treat her as a freak of nature. 
She didn't do well in school either, which further disappointed them. No longer willing to try living in her parents' esteem, she decided to do whatever she wanted. Okay, can't read that, but... I like you, Ivy. That was fun. Stressful, but fun. I don't know, maybe maybe she maybe she is um a more friend zone character. Cause she never gave any romantic vibes at all. Like Darcy. Darcy was laying it on thick. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. Uh share the video if you want, you know, get the series more attention. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.